today as the 49ers have agreed on a three-year deal with longtime adversary Richard Sherman that will pay the five-time Pro Bowl corner $39 million with a $5 million signing bonus. For more on this, we want to welcome in NFL Network's Tom Pelissero. And, Tom, this thing kind of escalated pretty quickly. Sherman arrived in San Francisco Friday, had dinner, took a physical Saturday, and here we are Saturday evening, and he's reached an agreement to join the 49ers. How this thing progressed in the last 24 hours or so? Well, it seems apparent that Richard Sherman had a number in his head that he was hoping to hit financially. In addition to all the other boxes that he wanted to check, the 49ers were got him to the point where he felt comfortable not taking a second visit. Now, remember, Sherman acting as his own agent here, so he was his own advisor. Uh, he was the one driving this deal, and he was the one actually in active negotiations with the 49ers. Uh, I was told earlier today he had had multiple teams reach out to him. The Detroit Lions were his next stop. He was planning to go there, meet with Matt Patricia, Bob Quinn, and company. Instead, he takes the deal from the 49ers. As Ian Rappaport reported, three years, $39 million, $5 million to sign. We'll see what the exact structure of that contract is, but certainly it seems as if Sherman, who was due $11 million from Seattle before they cut him, gets back at least a good chunk of that money. You mentioned the, the meeting that he had scheduled with Matt Patricia and company in Detroit. And, and, and curious, from, from Sherman's standpoint, uh, why not explore the market and maybe see if you can make a little more money? Is this an indication of, of, of the interest uh, in terms of his market, or was this an indication of, of this just being a, the right fit for him in, in his career? Well, I know what he told me yesterday. We were texting back and forth, and he said that his criteria for his next spot were a great fit a team with a great quarterback and a place where he felt comfortable. The great quarterback criteria with Jimmy Garoppolo fits the 49ers for the first time in at least the past several years. That's been a game changer for them. Even after signing Garoppolo to that massive contract, they still had upwards of $60 million in salary cap space. That gives them some maneuverability. I expect that they are going to be very active in the first wave of free agency, even heading into this week. And now Sherman, as you mentioned, gets a couple of cracks every year at Doug Baldwin and company going up against his old team, the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, that, that should be fun to see. Can't wait for that. But uh, uh, Sherman pointed out on social media the other day that how he's ranked number one in picks, passes defense, uh, uh, opposing quarterback completion percentage since he entered the league in 2011. So the numbers don't lie, but there is the concern with his Achilles missing the last seven games of, of last season. Uh, what's the level of concern with San Francisco in terms of his injury? I know he had to, to pass a physical, obviously. Right, and, you know, different teams, you can pass somebody on a physical. They just want to get comfortable. There's not going to be any further setbacks, that there's not some kind of uh, an issue with the Achilles. Uh, when I asked Sherman earlier this week about his health, you know, not only does he have the torn Achilles, but Pete Carroll mentioned at the Combine a couple of weeks ago that Sherman has had a procedure on his other Achilles. Well, Sherman kind of laughs about that. He said it was a bone spur that he had to get shaved off. It had been bugging him for several years, so he was actually happy. He was excited just to go ahead and get that taken care of. Sherman told me, I'll be back on the field by June, which gives him plenty of clearance, if he's right, for training camp in the regular season. Now, it's no secret that the Richard has a, a bold personality, to, to say the least. Was that a part of the discussion uh, in terms of bringing him aboard and, and, and how he's going to mesh in that locker room? Well, the 49ers' pursuit of Sherman began with their coach, Kyle Shanahan, uh, having dinner with Richard Sherman. Uh, Kyle also has, has a personality that is definitely strong, having talked to a lot of players uh, who have played for him through the years. But they know what they're looking for. John Lynch knows what he's looking for in the types of players and people that he wants to bring into that organization. It's not as if they viewed Richard Sherman as a destructive personality. He's outspoken. There's no question about it. But think about that 49ers locker room. Think about specifically their defense, because they have the leader on offense now. Jimmy Garoppolo, after six NFL starts or whatever it's been, he is the guy on that side of the ball. Defensively, there's not a lot of guys you point to and say that's the clear leader of that unit. Well, now Richard Sherman joining a group that has those young guys up front. They have a lot of guys that they're trying to develop. Uh, guys like Reuben Foster, of course, is, has a situation going on right now with a personal conduct investigation. Guys like that, somebody like Richard Sherman, who's won a Super Bowl, who instantly walks into that locker room commanding respect from everybody around him, don't overlook that aspect of this deal. It's almost the opposite, whether it's if you're looking at it as Richard Sherman as a strong personality, yes, but maybe that's something the 49ers could use. 
So Richard Sherman spent years antagonizing the uh, the 49ers. Now uh, he's set to uh, be joining the boys in the Bay Area. Tom Pelissero, we certainly appreciate uh, all the insight. All right, uh, for more on this, we uh, want to bring in our NFL media insider, uh, Ian Rappaport, who, uh, of course, broke this story. Uh, Richard Sherman once again agreeing on a three-year contract with the 49ers, $39 million, $5 million uh, up front. Ian, uh, how did this thing come together so quickly here in the past 24 hours or so? Well, this was Richard Sherman's first visit. And even before the visit, he had dinner with 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan, which is a very good sign that this is the place he wanted to sign. And then he came up uh, into the 49ers facility, spent a lot of time with their doctors today, did a physical to make sure they could uh, be comfortable with one torn Achilles and then surgery on another Achilles. And he's not healed. He's not ready to play football anytime soon. But obviously they were happy enough with the recovery and where he was to sign off on this deal. And they agreed to terms three years, up to $39 million. I'd be curious to see the actual details of this deal he does get $5 million in a signing bonus, but Sherman negotiated this deal without an agent. So the actual details of this deal are going to be fascinating going forward. But from the 49ers' perspective, one, you have to know they protected themselves against injury. And two, they get one of the premier cornerbacks in football, a little older than he once was, but he's still Richard Sherman, and no doubt he is going to help them on defense. Yeah, and Richard isn't afraid to remind people just uh, how potent he, he's been in his position in the league. You saw his, his tweet uh, uh, the other day. Uh, now, in terms of the 49ers' comfortability w- with him uh, in the locker room and that bold personality, uh, how do you anticipate uh, them handling that, or was that even a discussion to begin with? Well, they do have some personalities in that locker room, but they really have sort of calmed it down a little bit over the past a couple years. And, you know, what this right now is – is a young team, um, a team that is still building. And, look, Richard Sherman is who he is. He is outspoken. He is brash. He has also won a lot of games in the NFL. So there's a lot of good things that he can add to this locker room. And uh, not even just the locker room, just, just showing these guys how to play football and how to win. He is a fierce, fierce competitor. He is his own man, and no doubt he's going to rub off on some of these 49ers. His new team now officially switching sides after being released by the Seahawks. And it, by all indication, it seems like the, the perfect fit. He's from the West Coast. Uh, he's going to fit the scheme. Robert Sally cut his teeth in, in Pete Carroll's defense in Seattle, so he knows Sherman pretty mm-hmm. well. So all of those things uh, obviously play into, into the situation. Yeah, no doubt. And he doesn't even have to learn a new scheme. I mean, so much of what the 49ers are doing is what the, the Seahawks defense is based in. There's not a lot of teams running this, um, but – but it is 49ers are one of them. And for Richard Sherman, he wanted a familiar scheme. He wanted to be on the West Coast, wanted to be with a good quarterback. And a team that's going to win, he must think the San Francisco 49ers are about to win.